Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year again, the WWE Spring Cleaning, where they get rid of jobbers and stuff like this there. They get rid of the trash there. Um, Wade Barrett has officially been released. Um, Barrett wanted to leave at the end of his contract, stuff like this there, so, you know, I kind of feel bad a little bit for Barrett because he had potential, you know, when he came out with the Nexus, he looked like he was going to become a world champ, he looked like he had at least potential for something. But then he got destroyed by Cena, you know what I mean. Um, they gave him this King gimmick, which was fucking garbage. And before that, the Bad News Barrett gimmick, that was working. It was funny, the fans were into it. Not sure why they fucking destroyed that and gave him the Jobber King gimmick there, but... You know, the guy wanted to leave, and he was granted his release. You know, too bad. You know, Barrett could have been something, I think, there. Apparently, Santino has been released. Didn't Santino retire like a year ago or something like this? I already thought he was gone, but... Apparently he's been released there. You're not you didn't retire. We released you boy We're the top dogs there. You don't quit son. You're fired um, Cameron has been released one half of the Funkadactyls a jobber she tried to become a singer and failed or whatever What's that? Nobody gives a flying fuck about Cameron. You never did give a flying fuck Girl, bye. Bye, girl. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, girl. Um, Hornswoggle has finally been released. Talk about a jobber. This little prick, this little fucking joke, was one of the guys that made wrestling suck so fucking bad during the PG era there. You know, Vince McMahon's son, all of these bad, terrible, awful storylines there. I am happy that he's gone. Not sure why this motherfucker had a job to begin with, you know what I mean? El Torito, another guy that's gone, another midget or whatever. I guess McMahon, you know, we don't need midgets anymore. We already got a bunch of vanilla midgets like AJ Styles and stuff like this there. So they don't need El Torito and stuff like that there, I guess. Zeb Coulter has been released. Zeb Coulter, you know, the man was cutting fucking epic promos when him and Swagger were doing their thing there. When it first started, they were getting attention from the media, stuff like this. Zeb was so friggin' good on the mic. You know, people were taking his gimmick seriously and shit like this. But sadly, with the PG sellout fucking childish crap that WWE is doing nowadays... Zeb Coulter was, like, punished for doing a good job. They had to drop the gimmick a, a bit like Muhammad Hassan there because people were getting pissed off. Um, and they just stopped using him, so... Too bad for Zeb Coulter there because he could have been pretty entertaining. And Alex Riley has officially been released now. Alex Riley was like the bodyguard type thing of The Miz back in the day. And then when he broke away from The Miz, a lot of people got into him. Me personally, I, I never liked Alex Riley. I thought he just looked like a bigger, 
awkward version of the Miz, you know, same type of haircut that Miz had and shit. He seemed a bit goofy in the ring and stuff like this. I just, I didn't get it. I didn't get why all the fans were into this guy. He seemed just destined to be a jobber, in my opinion. There, They had him, like, doing commentary, I believe, shit like this. Recently, he had a couple matches on NXT. Some of the fans were getting into it. Yeah, Alex Rowley gonna take over the world. Alex Rowley, you're fine. They got rid of Alex Riley. Not sure what happened with this guy there. It looked like he was going to have some type of future, but it got destroyed somehow. Not sure if I heard that this had something to do with John Cena or something like this. I could be totally way off base there, but... I personally never cared for Riley. I never thought he... You know, he could have amounted to, like, world champ status or anything. Lots of people thought he was the next Hulk Hogan. I thought he was the next Marty Jannetty or something like this there. And personally, I don't give a shit if he got released. Alex Riley, future TNA world heavyweight champion. World heavyweight champion TNA. Even Zeb Coulter might become the world champ in TNA. Put the belt on Hornswoggle, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> TNA, man, they're going to fucking pick up on these wrestlers. They're, they're going to make it big, boy. Over in the big leagues. Total nonstop action. But yeah, more jobbers released there. If uh, anybody else gets released, I might make a vid on it there, but... Seven jobbers. God. Until next time. Peace.